Hello and welcome, Jilly Cube here on the Sunshine Coast, Queensland, Australia on a beautiful, I think we're getting towards the end of our winter, um, so it's a sort of end of winter coming into spring, I guess, day. I'm going to do a spinner, spinner binner, spinner spinner chicken dinner. Um, my spinner I got from just one of the local homeware stores, there you go, $20 it was. Um, and it's a really, it, it's like a heavy stone one, but it really does spin, 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 spin. It's very good. So to protect your spinner, just a shower cap I use. You can either wash the shower cap after to reuse it. And then it, it just, um, as you see, I didn't always put it on, but when I remember, cover up, protection first. There you go. So there's my shower cap on there. And I'm going to use this MDF that I did do a pour on earlier, but um, I didn't like it. So I might try and um, fold this bit of yeah, stuff that I've already got there, uh, um, masking tape. So just to help it stick to the um, board a little bit better, I guess. So I'll just fold it over it's just to help it stick to the board and not spin off but well, that piece is not not doing too good so there you go and I will press it on there it'll just hopefully stop it spinning off so there you go righty out I'm gonna try oops tipping paint over left right and center here I'm going to just put a base coat on. This is just my um, this is just my global acrylic mixed with my pouring medium, the clear glue, water. The recipe is in the drop down box, so it is not as lots of people say to me. Is that house paint? No, it's not. It's um, acrylic paint mixed with my normal pouring medium. So I'm going to give it just a quick coat close to the edges, not all the way. So it's nice going to a round again. If you, um, these particular rounds, you can either um, uh, resin afterwards and, and make them into a placemat or, or, or a wall decoration or make them a clock with a fitment. So lots of ideas. Rightio, I will leave that. Squidge some more on here. So it gives it lots to spin out on. Rightio. And just, and just my global acrylics mixed with the same as I normally do. So I'm starting off with this lovely turquoise for the base on the bottom. I'm going to go for the ultraviolet purple, purple, purple. And I'll go, this was just white with a bit of the, um, the uh, phalo blue mixed in. It sent it a nice sort of duck egg blue. And then I'll put some of my hot pink in there. A bit of a stir, it's gone a bit thick because I've had this paint working with different pores all week. So it has gone a little bit thick. Go back to the ultraviolet. Now, I had for a previous pour, this is um, burnt umber with a blob of black and mixed only with Floetrol, so it's, and it's global paint. It is not Amsterdam paint, so we might see if this actually works and gives us cells. So I probably don't need all that paint on there, but there you go, I did it, I did it. I might just hit it with the heat gun. That's just getting rid of any air bubbles. And then I'm going to, I should put the other piece of art out of the way because I'll probably blow paint all over it. Let's blow it out. I 
want to do much more on that. Let's... It's not really given lots of cells in the center. It's given some really weird cells like this, um, like the silicone, and I actually haven't put silicone in them, but anyway, we will give it a spin. Spin a spin a chicken dinner. Hmm. There's nothing real nice about that, <laughs> I must admit. Let me add, I mean, there's some lovely lacing here, but this is not good. So I'm going to add some white. This is the Amsterdam paint with Floetrol in it. I want to get some more of that lovely blue turquoise in there. And a bit more of the purple. And I'll go the pot pink. I think it's called fluoro pink. Radio. Um, and I might add some of the black. So I did get lacing, but not as much as I would if. <coughs> well, dear. I use that. <coughs> Excuse me. I've got a frog in my throat. Okay, let's do it again. Let's try it. Whoa. Wow, this is trousers. Let's give this a spinner. See how we go with this. bring you down it is very nice and lacy but it's um there's something going on that i don't like in there i'm not sure what i've done with one maybe just one of the paints so i'm going to balloon kiss so it's a just to soften up those blobs so you win some and you lose some but I've got to try and make this right so I'm using this little balloon to give some little delicate effects in the lacing which that is so much better I will bring you down and show you the results so you've got to try people give it a go okay I scraped it I wasn't happy with it I've got a right old mess here I'm gonna see I've got some colors left and there's something going on with these colors so I'm going to do a flip cup with them. Got the uh, green light. I've got a lovely sort of a moss green that I made up with just the white and the green deep. So I'm completely going off tether now, but I'm just showing you guys. Look, push on. It looks messy there, but when I re remove the um, thing, it still can certainly be used. Hot pink, ultraviolet, bit of duck egg, uh i've got a bit of that's just the, was the burnt umber mixed with the photo so i'm just going to do a flip cut because there's something going on with these colors and they're not coming out nice so i don't even expect them to come out nice with this flip cut but you know i'll see because otherwise i'm going to just have to throw them away because there's nothing nice happening with them disappointing but you know so I'll try I'll try me flip a cuppa flip cups you know can turn out nice but if there is something going on with this paint that seems as though it's got something that's reacting in it and I just do not like it at all that's the last of that so that is going to be way too much for that so let me see if I've got a bigger, no, I haven't. I'm going to flip it on there and it's going to go everywhere. So here we go. Flip. 
there's something happening there's a reaction in it and it's yeah it's not nice oh look at that color there color's beautiful yeah i've got to really get rid of the bit of paint i've got left because Yep, I just have no clue why it's gone a bit weird on me. They have been sat for a while, but they have been covered up, so I'm not sure at all. I'm going to give it a spin to cover that little board. Covering the whole thing now. You see, it's just coming like there is silicone in my paint. I do have no idea. It's quite effective. Oh, look at those. Wow. Rightio. Let me put some heat on there. Definitely better than the last effort, but it's still not. I mean, it's got some lovely little champagne cell. <coughs> What's going on, Benny Benson? Benny Benson? I'm going to bring you down to have a look how this is um, turning out. It's quite, it's just developing and developing all on its own, a little life all on its own.